There are different ways that you can launch a world in Minecraft Education Edition. We obviously have world templates, or you could start a world from scratch. But the third way to get a world is by importing it from a source. So let's say that I've downloaded a world and I wish to bring it into my game of Minecraft Education Edition. To do this, I click the play button, and then over here to the right of Create New, there's an icon that I can use to import a world. By clicking on it, I just need to find the folder where I've saved my world. In this case, it's a world called Terrace Road, available on my desktop. By double-clicking on the world, it will actually unpack that world and bring it into my game. Please note that the world file that's available on my desktop and the world that you see here on my screen are different. We're actually unpacking that world file into the game. We're not actually accessing the file that's sitting on my desktop. So you're free to use those worlds as templates or however you wish. Now let's say I open this world up for a little bit and I play around in it. So let me just move around a little bit to change my point of view. If I walk up over here, let's say I go into this house and just change a little bit of what I'm doing. Now when I exit out of this world, I might want to save my progress and it will do that automatically on the device I'm using. But let's say I wanted to share this world with my classmates or with my teacher, or I just wanted to back up my work and save my progress. Now that the world's in my game, you'll see there's a pencil icon over here on the right. If I click on that and scroll down on the right, you'll see that there's a button labeled Export World. If I click on Export World, I can choose to name my file whatever I like and save it wherever I'd like as well. In this case, I already have a world named Terrace Road, so I don't want to use that again. So maybe I'll add an underscore and type in V2 so I know that this is the progress that I've made in my work. I'll click on Export. You'll see a menu item come from the top that says it started and another that says when it's finished. And I know that that world is now saved. I could delete it out of this game if I want to or I could leave it there. But either way, exporting a world is an essential spot to use for backing up student work or for sharing work between students or with teachers or family members.